What is going on, y'all? So from the looks of it, y'all about to be talking big business from my last reading. All right, y'all done got acquainted with a lot of high professional and good contact and resourceful ass people. I'm talking about a lot of public figures, a lot of mainstream, a lot of um high profile people. All right, so cheers to you guys. That's always amazing. That's always a good look. All right, so let's tap in and see what you got coming towards you guys. Again, happy Mother's Day. Archangel Michael and the Legwa, please protect me. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras. I was about to say protect my character. So you guys, your character is being protected right now. Nobody cannot take this ace of wands for you, from you. Like it is yours. Like this is only for you. All right, your character is being protected right now when it comes to opportunity. If somebody around you that is trying to present an energy to where you don't deserve these things that is going on for you to where you don't deserve and these things are not earned, all right, somebody is just mad. All right, your character is being protected. Like whatever somebody's saying, whatever somebody's doing, it is not affecting this opportunity this is a fresh new start this is not only this is a physical fresh new start where you have some sort of power you have some sort of authority all right so your character again is being protected your character is being protected y'all it's like your spirit god also there's a spirit god there's a lot of angelic forces that's around you that's that's solidifying this brand new start. And for a lot of you guys that is already venturing on this fresh new journey, all right, you might feel a sense of being protected. You might feel a sense of not having to fight for it. You might feel a sense of just continuing to focus on what God is bringing you rather than having to defend certain things. Certain things you no longer have to having, certain things you no longer have to defend. Because it is your character that is being protected and on it right now. All right. Wow. Ace of Wands. This is a fresh ass new start where it's like nothing. There's no scribbling on that, on that new. This is a new page to your story. All right. You are turning a chapter. Uh, this is a new timeline. All right. That is going into your life. It's, it's free, it's fresh, it's not filled with nothing. It's free from any mistakes, it's free from anything. You have room to make mistakes. All right, the seven of coins. Oh my gosh. So it's like a proposal. Right? This is the four of wands, bitch. I mean, this is the nine of cups, bitch. This is like, you are about to be celebrating that dream. So I'm getting, like, you know how when you have a project to present, or if you at work, or there's a certain title or position that you want at work or in life, but it's requiring you to present something. It's, per, it's, it's requiring you to bring something forth and you to present yourself. It's requiring you to sell yourself. So you finally got the, you finally got the moment. You finally got that interview. You finally got that, that time where you got, you got your five minutes of fame. So now with the seven of pentacles, this is something that you've been working towards. This is something where you was waiting for the day to show your craft, to show what you can do, to show your talents. You was waiting for the day. And now you was given, you was given that, that, that ear, you was given that space. You was given that stage to present whatever craft idea whatever it is that you've been manifesting that you've been working hard on seven of pentacles and you did it and when i say you probably was thinking about how you did you probably was thinking about that they like it that the universe found it acceptable did that that boss or did that higher up or did that judge or whoever did it find did they find it acceptable enough 
to say, you know what, you got it, and this, you're going beyond. It's like you're going beyond this current level. And bitch, with the nine of cups, this is a dream come true. It's like, you know, you know that singing American Idol. All right, you know how if you audition for something, or if you fill out a, a job application, or if you fill out for a certain position, or if you fill out for a certain house where it's like big, big land, right? And they like, okay, now it's time for you to show what you got. And whatever you had to do to, 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 to put your end to the bargain and take action, you do it, right? You do it. And then now you waiting for the outcome, like, what's the outcome, bitch? You're going to be celebrating. This is a dream come true, nine of cups. I'm talking about popping bottles. I'm talking about a huge celebration. For some of you guys, you might be celebrating this tomorrow. It is Mother's Day where everybody gather in love, unconditional love, where you are going to be the light. All right, so expect something that you've auditioned for whether it was a universal audition whether it was you being prepared whether it was you working on your craft but you was prepared for this big day and a big day was this ace and wands where it was time for you to present yourself in a way that was needed for you to claim this dream come true the nine of cups is your wish fulfillment card it's like are you worthy of this or are you not Bitch, you are worthy, all right? And it came from homemade crafts, all right? Your homemade crafts, meaning what you was birthed with, what you was born with, like what you what you like, what you passionate about from within, a certain skill, a certain gift. This was nothing, you probably learned a little bit, but this was something that was already within you, all right? And you had the chance to present it. You had the chance to showcase it. You had the chance to show people that you was good at this homemade craft. And baby, you got it. Even, even if you was trying to pitch, you know how, what is that? Shark Tank. I'm getting these kind of scenarios where it was a big moment where you wasn't sure, but you just had to bet on yourself and really be confident and brave in your skills. And everybody is not given an Ace of Wands moment. This moment that you was given and have been given, it was a chance to rewrite a new chapter in your life. That's a big ass opportunity. And it's going to be different for everybody. All right. But it was your moment. And that moment, you took that moment and you did something that you was good at within yourself homemade something that was homemade something that came from the roots your dna i'm hearing your ancestors is happy right now i'm also seeing a lot of pop-up shops y'all also was attending a lot of pop-up shops getting your name out there all right this hard work done paid off because you put action you put your spirit you put your passion into this and this is the reward y'all i know i keep saying it but i need y'all to hear me all right, look, this is coming from a grandmother that, oh my God, oh. you have an elder that had passed, that's passed on in a moon energy that has been guiding you and giving you everything that they know spiritually to help you along this journey because you got things resourcefully. Like sometimes, like I believe that our ancestors, all right. They got us with the spiritual wisdom and the things that they know, you know, because the only thing, the only reason, that's why it's very important to reclaim our ancestral strength instead of the fucking traumas. Because half of the things that our ancestors didn't do, it wasn't because of their skill. It wasn't because of their craftsmanship and they homemade craft. It was because of the money. It was because of the resources. It was because certain people. But now in this time, as well as we are breaking free from shit and we not allowing re re history to repeat itself. A lot of us are in position. A lot of our ancestors are so fucking happy that we are financially stable, that we broke free from the chains of poverty, that our kids' kids don't have to deal with that. So now it's like, why you think we are gaining so much? Why you think we are being exalted? Because we financially are equipped. We are resourcefully are, uh, equipped to make our dreams come true along with the energies of our ancestors that didn't go as far. You know, our ancestors only did as much as they could do. And that's why it's very important 
for you to forgive, but not stay stagnant in a level where they at because you got to achieve more. You got to take it further. The reason why we not out here fighting um, like, and with wars like that, like that, some of us are, but some of us not, because our ancestors did that. Now it's time to fight another way. And the best revenge is your paper. The best revenge is getting those connections and sitting with higher up so you can be in charge of the ruling and decision making for your people. You hear me? You are being encouraged by a very strong feminine energy that has passed on an elder that has not achieved certain things that you are achieving right now because of so much baggage that they had. This ancestor is looking like a grandmother. They are so proud of you right now because you have surpassed the limitations of your bloodline. Look, she's looking at you like, yes, you are freeing her. You are freeing her. If you got a dog, she got your dog. All right. This is like you freeing your ancestral lineage from a lot of things that they couldn't do because of the resources you have now. They were always smart. They were always talented. And imagine you being chosen to carry out these gifts because these are homemade crafts. These are homemade gifts that I'm pretty sure your ancestors wanted to get out to the world. Okay, you are doing that. So your character is being protected because you've been showing your ancestors specifically this grandmother or aunt or whoever this lady is that you could surpass the limitations, all right, of baggage, all right? And that also comes with being assertive. That also comes with being a brave and saying, no, like I'm not carrying it this, carrying this baggage. You are about to be celebrated, all right? There's a huge celebration with this nine of cups. There's a dream come true here. This is our, you're rewriting your story. You're rewriting your future. And you was given a big shot. You was given your big day and you took it. And the return is getting a wish. All right. You did not let this opportunity pass by. You weren't scared. And if you were, you didn't allow it to show your talents. You didn't allow it for you to learn about your talents. Learn more about why you was called to this certain craft. Y'all, this is a big day for you guys. All right, this is a big day for you guys. This is a big week. All right, literally, your granny is at all with the life, the love that you have around you. Look at the fruits of your labor all on your table. Your table is filled, all right? Rough times and hard times are in the past for whoever you are, whoever I'm speaking to. All right, this lady has been guiding you guiding you she has been lifting the pain she has been coaching you through your emotional state with this moon energy she has been intuitively connecting with you all right i'm hearing like she's proud she brags about you your grandma brags about you that's who's giving you this fucking opportunity she's like here she brags about you for a lot of you guys you freed her you freed her from a lot of guilt she felt guilty when she passed Watching you having to struggle or watching you really, really go after this craft or take this gift of, I'm just getting generation. This is a generational gift that you finally tapped into. Like, you freed her. Now she's light. She's not in a dark place no more. She's not filled with baggage. She's not filled with sorrow. Look, she's now she's, you know, healing ourselves is a part of our generational wealth. Healing ourselves not only heals us, but it literally heals our ancestors from feeling bad. Like, you are allowing your ancestors to rest in peace. You are allowing your ancestors the energy that one is needed in a spiritual realm to help you ascend and go after and bring these opportunities. All right, I'm also hearing offerings. All right, the offerings that you give make us stronger, but she's not attached to these burdens no more. You freed her. By freeing yourself, by freeing your bloodline, all right? You're tapping into generational wealth by freeing yourself from limitations and poverty and, and boundaries and grief and baggage coming from emotions. This is her when she probably passed and this is her now thriving through you.
giving you this opportunity and she's the one who's protecting your character. Child, that's right. And I'm thinking Mother's Day. I'm thinking she's coming out for Mother's Day. She's wanting to tell you that she is proud of you. She's wanting to tell you that everything that you've been doing. See, what I'm picking up, Dan, what I'm picking up is that you've been honoring this lady. All right, she feels it. She gets it. She brags about you. All right, she brags about you to God. If you're wondering why your dreams keep coming true, if you're wondering how this opportunity came to you, because the Nine of Cups is a dream come true. So you're wondering, how the fuck? Did I get this opportunity? You already getting money. You already getting paid. You probably not even focused on the money right now. You probably like, how the fuck am I being blessed like this? Child, it's your grandmother protecting your character, making sure because she's honoring you right now for Mother's Day. Whether you a mother or not, this was your mother. It's like this was your mother. All right, she considered you as a child. All right, for some of you guys, this could even be your mother, okay? Wow. Spirit, give me more on this Ace of Wands. Um, I don't even want to use this deck. I'm going to just go straight in with the tarot. Oh, no, I know what deck to use. Spirit, give me more on this Ace of Wands. This is this is them protecting your character, your spirit. The Ace of Wands is spirit. It's you being handed down a torch. All right? You being in charge to rewrite the ancestral DNA and the lineage and the story. All right? That goes along with it. That's a lot of that's a lot of trust and faith in, in you. Spirit, give me more on this Ace of Wands, please and thank you. Wow, it's time to rest and let grandma do the work. It's time to rest and be in your divine feminine energy. It's time to rest and let my work. All right, it's time to take a break. For some of you guys, you're about to be fertile. I see like baby blocks. All right, it's time to press pause and don't overwork yourself. The weight is being lifted because your, your ancestors are not weighed down no more. So, you know, we, we hold generational trauma we hold generational baggage bye bye you releasing that shit it's releasing your ancestors and now it's releasing you you it's time for a break it's time for your break it's time to rewrite the story of relaxation happiness peace not having to do so much working smarter not harder building so so much strong relationships that it is a blessing to the divine and others to have everything conspire in your behalf right now all right, it's time for a break. You are about to live a very restful life. All right, a very free life. Okay, it's time to rest. You done your work. You done your part. All right, you showed that you are a warrior. It's time to put those battles down. All right, it's time to rest. It's time for a break. Spirit, give me more than a seven of coins. Look, back on track. Back on track. You hear me? You are right where you need to be. You are right where you need to be. And that's why the pressure is being taken off of you because you're not off track. You're not allowing your ancestors to do so much and be all over the place. You are aware of your steps. You are aware that sometimes it's time for you to relax when you're doing too much. It is. This is rest season for you. This is rest season for you because you are on track. You are in alignment. So why are you rushing? All right. Yeah, you are back in track with nature. You are back in tune with nature. You are back natural to the earth. Y'all. Wow. Spirit, give me more on this nine of cups. This is no dream come true. rewrite it didn't I say that you was the one to rewrite the future family's bloodline you are in charge to rewrite your future family's bloodline that's how much faith your ancestors got in you that's how much ancestral strength you have reclaimed 
That's how much ancestral trauma you have healed from. You've been given a pen. You've been given a pass. Nobody can't take this from you. Not a lie. Not a gossip. Not anything. Not a prayer. Not a discussion with God could take this from you. This is solidified to pen to rewrite your generation new. Generation story is yours. Bitch. The actions that you have taken are changing your life path and your DNA. I'm telling you, y'all, this is the nine of cups. You're going to be signing something. There's signature. You're going to be signing something. There's a pen. Also, it's like a pad. You're going to be signing something. Expect to be having your signature. People going to be wanting your signature, but this is like something you, you need to sign. You're going to be signing something. And this is where you want your name to be. I'm hearing you have reinvented, all right? Revive your household name. You're going to be signing somewhere, all right? And that's going to be your restarting. Your, that's going to be solidifying, all right? Your character by getting granted this wish. Wow. Spirit, give me more on this moon card, this Elza, please and thank you. This is very clear, y'all. A big responsibility. Look, hermit. This is her and spirit. The hermit call is like somebody in going within, soul searching. All right. You tapping into why these things are happening to your family. What have your family been experiencing? All right. Before you, what happened to the people that came before you? All right. You had a lot of alone time. And right now you breaking out of your shell because now it's rest season. All right, it's rest season. You gained so much knowledge and awareness about your strengths. I'm just picking up. You've learned so much about how strong your ancestors were. Like, before you probably thought that they were, like, not capable. But you've learned that your ancestors were very wise. And the only reason why they were stuck and stagnant was because of certain resources that you have now in this lifetime. So there's no excuses for you. You already, you already showed that. That's why it's like after a while, you know, my everything's when you win a spiritual war, it is time for rest. It is very important for you to prioritize self-love and enjoyment and celebrating your success. All right. And it's very wise for others not to think of your rest as surrendering. All right, but this is a period of rest. This is rest. This is a period of celebration. This is a period of milestones being reached and you rewriting the legacy for your family. Do you know how that important that is? Because if this is all being left back in history. You know, that's the question you need to be asking. Everybody got to go one day. But what are you leaving back? If you if 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 you decide if God decides to take your life right now, what can you be okay with in your heart that you are leaving back in history that can really help others? Right now, you have left back and you will leave back. All right, the ability to get back on track, no matter how far off track you are, you have and will leave back. The history of you making sure, no matter what your dream is, at least make sure you carry out some sort of household talent and gift that you was born with, that you was good at. Because that's going to go through generations. All right? You're leaving back the ability to be passionate about what you do. To always know that you can always turn a page. You are leaving back rest and peace. And making sure that is being prioritized too. Because even if you got a lot of money, if you don't got the peace to go along with it, you're going to be all screwed. All right? You're leaving back so much. You're leaving back going after your motherfucking dreams. Nine of cups. And actually being a dream catcher. Actually being spoken about as far as fulfilling dreams. The nine of cups is here. All right? This is rewriting after going through hermit mode, after soul searching, after figuring out, you know, your roots and getting to the root of the situation instead of putting a band-aid on surface level shit. You wanted to see why things keep reoccurring. And that's what you did. You dug deep and you found out and you freed this lady. 
You freed this lady from a lot of baggage that they probably didn't even have the knowledge of. You know, even with technology, even with support. You know, they didn't have these things to where now they looking at you like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Something is about technology also is what they like. They like how something about technology, but this is the one that's now in the light. This is the one that is able to defend you with the things that you can't see while you worry about the things that you can't see. All right, they're no longer in a dark place. I'm, I'm, I'm being called to stress that. If you were wondering if you helped them ascend and, you know, cross, you know, um, journey across, you did. Look at them. They are free of baggage. They probably like pink. They probably like their hair blonde. They probably like flowers. They probably always had bags, always had bags on them. They look very pretty. All right. They're good right now. They look exactly for some of you guys. You probably um, had a, a, a really messed up image of how they passed. They don't look like that. They look exactly useful and how you used to remember them. I think that that's big that this person wanted me to communicate that to you. All right. So, um, let's see. Let's get some closing out messages for you guys. Spirit, what is the closing out messages for my early things? Um, this is a, this is, again, you did something. You presented yourself. You took an opportunity by storm. And it required you to showcase something within you. All right. And you did it. All right, your name is going to be signed. Your, your signature is going to be needed. All right, um, but this is a dream come true with this Nine of Cups. Expect to be celebrated even tomorrow or this week. Definitely before this, before the end of this week. Look. You are the main female. You are the one that's anointed with the gifts. You was the one that was taking leadership and asserting yourself with these talents, making sure that it get out there, making sure that you was a master at it, you know, going after your dreams. You are deserving of this. And that's why you get the peace. That's why you get the beauty. That's why you get the fame. That's why you, because you know what to do with it. You know how to grow things. You know how to maximize things. You know how to give. You know how to multiply your resources to help others. So you are the main female that this goes to. I love you guys and I hope to help.